In this video, you will learn how to create a block and allocate rooms on the Room and Rate grid. Let's get started. First, I will create a new block. In Opera Cloud, go to Bookings, select Blocks, and then select Manage Block. I click Create Block. Next, I click the Account Magnifying Glass. To link a company, I enter the company name and then click Search. Now I see a list of company accounts on the left. Once I select an account, any linked contacts display on the right. Or I can click the I Want To menu to create a new company profile. In this example, I select a company account and then scroll down to select the account only. I update the default block name to Company Conference. Next, I complete the required fields. I click the Market Magnifying Glass to select the market from the list and then click Select. Next, click the Source Magnifying Glass and select the source from the list and then click Select. Now click the Reservation Type Magnifying Glass, select the Reservation Type from the list and then click Select. I can scroll down to complete any additional room details or catering details for the block. In this example, the rate code is mandatory. I click the Rate Code Magnifying Glass to select a rate code from the list and then click Select. Next, I click Yes to automatically update the market and source code for the selected rate code. This property has the Opera Cloud Sales and Event Management Premium Cloud Service active. So now I have the option to quickly set up the block room allocation by selecting a room pool, entering the number of rooms to allocate, and I can also enter a rate amount or define the cutoff date or days. For the catering details, I must enter the number of event attendees. Next, I click Save and go to Room Grid to manage the room allocation for this block. Now, I see the house availability per room type for the block dates. And I also see there are zero rooms allocated to the block right now. If I click to expand the rates, I can see the pricing for one to four adults room occupancy display because I previously selected the rate code when creating this block. Now to allocate rooms to this block, I click the Actions menu and then click Load Room Grid. I can specify the date range or the days of the week and the number of rooms per room type for the block. On the Room Grid options, I can specify the days of the week, the cutoff date, or the number of cutoff days to release the rooms back to the inventory. Entering a cutoff date means rooms not picked up with reservations by this date are returned to the house availability. Or I can enter a number of cutoff days, and instead of assigning one cutoff date to release all available rooms for the block, defining the number of days for the cutoff days releases the rooms one night at a time. The cutoff days field is only available if the cutoff date field is empty. To add five standard rooms to the block, I select the checkbox for the standard room type and then add five to the number of rooms and then click save and continue. Next I select the deluxe room type and add five to the number of rooms and click save and continue. And finally, I select the checkbox for the translation room type and then add 10 to the number of rooms. Then click save. Now I can see these rooms are allocated to the block. Let's take a look at how to add more rooms to the block. Go to the action menu and click the Load Room Grid option. Now I can select the checkbox to the room type I want to update. Next, I must select the checkbox to increase or decrease the number of rooms, and then add the number of rooms. If I want to decrease the number of rooms, I would enter a negative number. In this example, I add two standard rooms and then click Save. Now I can see the standard room type increased by two rooms from five to seven rooms. I can also find the room and rate grid directly from the block. Next, I click the block name to go to the block. On the block, I can edit the details or I can go to the I want to menu to find actions related to this block. In this example, I click the option to go to the room and rate grid. To view or update the room allocation, click manage. Now click actions and then load room grid to make any more changes to the room allocation for this block. 